local students honoring our nation's heroes. Our Jason Maxwell was at the ceremony at LaSalle. We have our veterans assembly today, um, which is where we're going to bring in several hundred veterans. It's our 10th time doing this. Um, and it's really a chance to get them in front of our boys so those students have the opportunity to, to thank these men and women for their sacrifice and their service. My son was a Marine who was killed in Afghanistan June 3rd, 2011. Uh, we're able to you know, hear about their experiences and I want to take this time in class today to offer up the opportunity to you guys. What does you know, having a veteran in your family, what does serving uh, the country, our country, what does that mean to you guys? Having the military here, I'm just very grateful for them to be here and especially for serving our country to have us have great lives. You never know, you know, if there's a young man in here we're going to reach today uh, that may get a clue on what he wants to do in life. I'm part of the Ohio National Guard. Um, I enlisted in December 2022, so uh, I was able for my junior summer year, I was able to go to basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, and uh, now I'm here finishing my senior year, uh, being about a year and a half into the military. And I'm proud to be, frankly, an American, uh, because we can, we can celebrate um, their sacrifices and their service, and, and give them the thanks that um, we, we can never truly express enough of. Our mission changed the day our son died, and we didn't really know what it was for a long time. I, I'll be honest with you, we were floundering around for a long time, and I'm not going to say that we're still not sometimes, but, but my mission in life right now is to tell my son's story, our son's story, to say his name. They say a man dies two deaths, the first time when he stops breathing, the second time when his name is said for the last time, and my mission while I'm alive is to say his name, say his story, tell people, so that that saying never forgotten is, is true for our son. And a reminder that every Wednesday at 6, our Trisha Mackey salutes our heroes where she highlights local veterans and you can salute a veteran in your life by simply nominating them for our salute to service segment. All you have to do, it's real easy, is scan that QR code that's up on your screen right now. That's going to give you all the instructions that you need. We recognize our service members with a shout out every day at 4.